Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, long time no see. For those of you guys who don't know, I moved from Chicago to Hong Kong about a month and a half ago now. So it's been a whirlwind of making friends, getting settled, finding my own apartment, moving in, all of that jazz. So I'm sorry I've been away, but I'm sure you understand. Um, I'm finally, after a month and a half of being here, I'm finally settling into my new life. My apartment is amazing. I absolutely love it. I've been decorating and making it my own the past few weeks, and I think it's finally pretty much complete, so I'm going to film an apartment tour soon. But for now, this video, I wanted to share with you guys my newfound home fragrance obsession. This is my very first apartment after graduating from university. So when I moved in, one of my top priorities was to make sure it smelled good. So the past few weeks I've been testing and buying a lot and a lot of different types of home fragrances from candles to sprays to diffusers to oils. Today I'm just going to share with you guys what I own and give you a bit of a review, um, how good it is and if I would recommend it or not basically. I'm going to start with candles. The very first candle that I bought for my apartment was actually a pretty expensive one. Um, it was this. The Cosine Saigon Vanilla and Tabac Noir scented candle. I've actually already burnt this all the way up, so it's gone. So I can give you guys an honest review of it. For my very first candle that I ever purchased for my new apartment, I went ham. Because in my brain I was like, I'm gonna buy a really high quality candle that's gonna just fill my whole space with good smells. And I actually would recommend this candle. It is such a sophisticated scent. I'm usually not the fondest of vanilla scents because I feel like they can smell a bit too one-dimensional almost. But this one, because it's got the Tabac Noir, which I have no idea what that is, but that extra added element gives it a depth and a darkness. I think I was a little bit ambitious with this candle because I thought that it was going to fill up my entire space with this scent. Truth is, it doesn't. It fills up maybe my living room or half of my bedroom, but it won't fill the entire room up and the scent isn't so strong that it's immediately noticeable. I think it's a really good gift and investment candle if you do want to get a little spendy on the candle front. So the next candle that I purchased. I went a step further and got myself a dip tea candle. If you guys can tell, I don't take baby steps. I either go all the way or don't go at all. Dip tea candles are hella expensive. So I got this in the scent Amber because I really love musky, woody scents rather than sweet or floral scents. And um, oh, it's amazing. It smells amazing. I think this one, um, in terms of how much scent it gives off. I think it is slightly more potent than um, the one that I just shared with you guys. But in terms of um, smoothness of the burn, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there's like bits of wax all around the edges. I don't know if it's the candle I got, but I feel like the quality of the burn isn't as smooth and as thorough as um, this one. And I have been quite careful about making sure that when I burn the candle, um, the entire top layer of wax has melted so that it burns smoothly. But even still, it's just around the sides of the glass, there's still wax bits. But overall, you know, if you're feeling spendy, if you want to go ham on the candle front, definitely, definitely, I don't regret purchasing this one. So those were all of the candles. Next, I wanted to touch on two air fresheners that I got for my bathroom. Bathrooms can smell kind of poopy pretty quickly, so it's important to keep that space smelling fresh, right? The first thing I got for the bathroom was this. Um, 
I don't know what this is called. It's by Airwick and it has these little um, liquid beads inside. It kind of just has that fresh clean scent, if that makes sense. Um, and I got this because I thought that A, yes, I wanted it to make my bathroom smell good, but B, I also thought that it looks really pretty. Like the beads look really nice. Truth is, I was a little bit disappointed by this. Um, yes, I think it looks beautiful, but I feel like it doesn't really give off much of a scent. Basically what I'm trying to say is that it looks good, but it doesn't really work. The second thing I got from my bathroom does work. It is this. And this is by Ambipure. I don't know if you guys can see, it has like a little liquid filled packet. This I think I got in like the lavender clean fresh scent. And this actually does work. I was surprised um, because I had lost all hope after the beady one. But um, I was actually talking to my boyfriend on FaceTime the other day and he said that he got one of these for his room and he said it was making his room smell so good. So I was like, okay. I should try that. So I got this and I haven't looked back. So next I'm going to talk about reed diffusers. The first one that I got is from Muji and um, it's this. So it actually comes in this white ceramic container um, but inside is the bottle of is this like oil, perfume, fragrance oil? Okay, it's oil. And I got the woody scent. Like I said, I like the woody scents. Um, and basically with this, it comes with the um, wooden sticks and you just stick them in and you're supposed to turn them once a week. <sighs> it smells like you're in a forest. This is just meh for me, truthfully. I don't think that it really spreads throughout my room. When I walk into my apartment, when I walk around my apartment, I can't notice the scent. And so that says to me that it isn't really working. But if I'm really, really close to the area and I'm, you know, sniffing around and I get a whiff of the stuff, it does make me very happy because I love, love, love how truly woody this smells. The next reed diffuser that I have is this. I actually got the bottle separately and I got the oil that's inside separately. So the oil that's inside is the cinnamon orange clove fragrance reed diffuser oil. Um, and I got this from the candle company. Uh, I think this is in Central, the store is. Oh my God, the scent is like just everything good about Christmas. I'm not kidding. It's the perfect Christmas scent without going too sweet, too cinnamony, too spicy, too warm. Although today when TJ smelled it, she was like, I don't like Christmas smells. So if you don't like Christmas smells, this is not gonna be for you. But if you do like Christmas smells, check this out. It's on sale right now at the candle company. So it's amaze balls. There are two more products left that I wanna talk about. One is a spray. This is the Body Shop Aloe and Soft Linen Body Room and Linen Spritz. This smells so good. There's three scents at the body shop and they're all in that refreshing, clean category. This one was the one that called to me the most, but all of them I think are really great. And this is just like a quick way to make your room smell really nice. Let's say you have guests coming over and you just wanna spritz things up a little bit so that when they walk in, they're like, ooh, your place smells good, you know? It's like that extra boost. Sometimes what I'll do also with this is at night before I go to bed, I will spritz a few sprays around that area so that when I put my head down and get into bed, it, I just, it smells good, you know? It makes me feel refreshed and calm and clean and ready to fall asleep, basically. Um, so I really, really, really like this. So I have saved the best for last, this. <laughs> this is my oil burner, I think it's called. I got it at the thrift store down the street last week. It was only 15 Hong Kong dollars, so two US dollars. And it's the best, best purchase I have made yet in Hong Kong, I think. Um, so how you use this is you fill 
the top with water and then you drop in a few drops of an essential oil of your choosing. I have been using the canvas lavender oil and then afterwards you pop in a tea light candle at the bottom right there. You pop that in after you've lit it and then it just warms up the water oil concoction up here and just diffuses it throughout your room. It works so well. I notice it almost immediately. Within five to ten minutes, I can just smell such a beautiful lavender scent throughout my entire apartment. And none of the other fragrance items that I've shared with you guys do that. I light this at night um, before I go to bed and it just fills my room with the most soothing, calming, stress relieving scent. Um, it just helps me fall asleep so much quicker and it also somehow improves the quality of my sleep. I didn't really believe in aromatherapy before but now I totally do. I really want to learn more about it and get more into it and try other essential oils because I think that they really do have an impact on my mind, body, stress levels, and sleep cycle. So that was it. Those are all of the home fragrance items that I've been experimenting with and using. Hopefully you guys found this video useful. I just I'm really excited about all of the stuff that I shared today and it's become a new found hobby and interest of mine. So I'm definitely going to keep trying out new home fragrance products and letting you guys know how well they work. And yeah, now my apartment smells so good. I, I walk in and I'm like, whoo, it smells good in her, up in her. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully I'll be making more and more videos to come. I know for sure that an apartment tour is coming sometime soon. Basically whenever I get a free weekend to film it. Thank you guys for staying with me and watching this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!